Hey everybody, Brett back from La Bets in the Belfry, wearing a t-shirt that is entirely way too tight for me, um, but it's got a jack-o'-lantern on it, so I don't care. I'm back to um, show off some goodies, and I'm also going to try um, these Sour Patch Kids um, Zombie Edition. So this is the first time for me. I had no idea Sour Patch Kids even had a Halloween version, but I definitely wanted to give them a try. So it looks like they only have two colors and that is purple and orange, which good colors, probably some of my favorites. Um, yeah, so it includes the orange flavor and raspberry flavor. So let's give them a try. My dog Tilly is here. So if you see some commotion going on, it's her. Yeah, she's calming down now. All right, so let's open these up. One of my least favorite things about these coming in the box though is just having to open them in this little, little tiny package, especially when you go to the movies. It's like the noisiest thing ever. I remember going to see the first Quiet Place and getting Sour Patch Kids and I was like, ah, now I have to open these during the silent parts, which is a lot of them when you see the Quiet Place. Um, do you want one? You want one? Well, you're gonna have to back off, okay? Meanie. Meanies. All right, let's give the raspberry a try. Pretty good, tastes like Sour Patch Kids. Let's give the orange a try. Maybe later. I like the orange a lot more um, compared to the raspberry, but both of these are good flavors. And I definitely have to have Kelly try one later. But yeah, these are solid. Um, I just kind of wanted to give them a try. And yeah, I would say, I mean, I kind of like the smin off of Sour Patch Kids watermelon a little more than regular Sour Patch Kids. But I like that they came out with a Halloween edition of this. And honestly, I haven't really tried too many Halloween flavors of stuff this year so far. I've only done like the Pillsbury, um, like, you know, monster cereal cookies that they came out with. Kelly bought a bunch of, um, like, what was it? It was like, um, like cookie dough, like pumpkin cookie dough Pillsbury cookies as well. We haven't made yet, but we'll get to trying those. But yeah, those are good. Like the Sour Patch Kids. Um, I did get a nice uh, little fun pack from Dinosaur Dracula, and if you don't know who Dinosaur Dracula is, definitely check out his channel. He does a lot of like junk food nostalgic type stuff, and um, him and his buddy Jay do a podcast called The Purple Stuff Podcast, which is a lot of fun, and definitely brings a lot of joy into my pretty miserable life, but um, yeah some cool stuff. The one thing I would probably say I want to show off the most is, um, well, one of these is I got this cool blue ghost sticker for like, you know, an ice cream truck. Pretty awesome. Some of the stuff, um, go on Dino Drac's website, just dinosaurdracula.com and just some really, really cool articles about, you know, 80s and 90s nostalgia and like commercials and all, all this cool stuff. Like I'm a sucker for seeing stuff from like you know, years ago, and I love collecting old things, and just seeing old stuff is just really cool. I mean, it's, to me, it's almost more exciting than new stuff. I mean, there's some new stuff here and there that I'm like, this is awesome, but it doesn't happen nearly as much, you know. We live in a time where, you know, even things that are coming out are that are new are kind of, you know, romanticizing, you know, the 80s and 90s, I mean, Stranger Things is definitely a big example, but um, I digress on that. The number one thing I wanted to show off was um, I love horror scores and horror soundtracks, and I feel like I'm like one of the few people in the world that actually legit listens to that stuff. But um, part of the Dino Drac fun pack of September was I haven't opened it yet, but is the Monster Squad soundtrack on cassette. And I don't have too many cassette tapes. Um, you know, cassette tapes are kind of coming back into the fold again. And 
I really like that. I do kind of just want to get a separate cassette tape player, um, you know, just around the house, but I have an old stereo that has a cassette tape player, but I'm really excited to have this. I think it's super cool. And Monster Squad's an awesome movie. I'm kind of surprised I didn't include that in my um, list of movies to watch for Halloween 2022. Can you stop and calm down? Sorry, but yeah. This is a little short video, but just kind of wanted to give a spooky update. I've been doing a lot of wrestling reviews, and to those who follow our channel, or probably like Brett Wire, you were reviewing a bunch of wrestling shows. I've gotten back into wrestling this year, and you know, Love Bats is like mostly a spooky channel, but we tend to be all over the place. It's like, especially with our name, you know, you know, when you know the term Bats in the Belfry, you know, things aren't necessarily structured very well, and I feel like I'm not structured very well, so I can be a bit all over the place, and you know, the channel kind of personifies that a bit. Like I randomly have a people under the stairs, um, like framed poster thing here for some reason. I can't really explain myself on that one, but I hope you like it regardless, and I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you in a future video. Bye.